But the bigger point is, if somebody says, look, I go to bed, I sleep for four hours, I wake up for an hour, and then I go back to sleep again, is that pathological? And when you look at quality sleep, if we went out to the mall and took your microphone in your van and went to a place where there's a lot of pedestrians and said, what's a good, what's good sleep? You know, what, how do you, how do you know it? You know, who's getting good sleep? Who's not? I can almost guarantee you that people are going to answer people who fall asleep fast are good sleepers mm -hmm. and people who don't wake up during the night are good sleepers. Those will be the two most common answers on the poll, most likely. Mm -hmm. True. And I don't think they're good answers at all. It's kind of like what makes somebody a, a good eater or somebody who's really values nutrition. It's somebody who eats their dinner really fast. And it's somebody who never takes a break to have a conversation during the meal. Like that's kind of what they're saying is essentially that doesn't make any sense when it comes to food. And it makes very little sense when it comes to sleeping mm -hmm. too. So there's a great book called it days close an evaluation of nights past or something like by a guy named Roger Eckerk. Um, and he did this sort of historical analysis. He's a professor of, of like history. He's not a sleep doctor mm -hmm. going back to like the middle ages and, and, and all the way up through the industrial revolution and said, this idea of monophasic sleep is a relatively new one that we used to always sleep sort of polyphasically in the past. Yeah. And he's like, look, I'm not a medical doctor, but I do wonder if we are suppressing a typical behavior that really should be allowed to be, you know, present if somebody wants it to be. So could you say to that person, okay, so you go to bed, whatever, you sleep for four hours, you wake up, you're up for an hour. Great. Sounds like you're doing what your body intended it to do versus, oh, wow, well, here, you need to take this pill. Because yeah. if you take this pill, it'll keep you from waking up and everything will be great. If you also look at animals, across the entire spectrum of animals, none of them really have monophasic sleep. I mean, that is really sort of almost exclusive to humans. If you have dogs in your house, do they monophasically sleep? No, they're like running around and chasing after stuff and playing yeah. and then they're they asleep on the couch. They don't attach the story to it, that's for sure. <laughs> right, right, exactly. You know, yeah, the deer that's like walking around in your backyard traumatized by their inability to sleep like it's a, there's a lot of things about this that are really human constructions and so insomnia is not the inability to sleep it's a person who's not sleeping when they've decided they want to is part a part b is you're upset about it so we're the only people that really have insomnia because that upset part has to be present so i suspect when a cow lies down and doesn't fall asleep He's just like, all right, well, I'll just eat some more grass. <laughs> I don't care, <laughs> you know, or the cow will just stretch out and rest and not be too worried that sleep isn't happening. So it's, you know, the, the, the higher level thinking that we have about sleep sometimes can really be problematic.